there's two sides of pain that I don't think a lot of people really understand. As soon as they feel a small bit of discomfort, of things they like, oh, they're gone. I can't do it. I suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here. I dare you to take a look at That Ray Lewis speech at the beginning, y'all. That speech got me going. I might have to run a, a marathon after this. I mean, I am so just encouraged. I am so ready to just do anything right now. Pain is not an issue. Pain is not a factor. But you guys are seeing right here, we are scoring touchdowns. And uh, we are playing Pittsburgh Steelers, if you guys did not notice. Uh, you guys just seen that. We scored 14 to 14 and a deep bomb to more. And this guy has been stepping up throughout the season for us, and he has been playing very, very well. Play action has also been working, and uh, once again, we find more across the middle. Moving to the left-hand side, and a very good job. Third and goal. We got to score before the half. We got to score, and we are going to scramble. And we are, oh, oh! We need to work on our carrying. Lamar keeps on fumbling the ball. Um, after this game, though, we will play another game. And then after that game, we will go and work on some stats, some attributes. Ooh, a big time hit, but way to hold on to the ball that time. Six rushes, 87 yards, and a TD. Here he goes again, and Lamar gets tackled into the end zone. And you guys, you see right there, another touchdown. His second rushing touchdown of the day. And this touchdown puts us in the lead. Twenty-one to fourteen, third quarter. Lamar has a lot of no, he doesn't. Throws the ball deep and a big time catch. Rashad Perryman is our key. He is the X factor. And I did say we had a lot of time. We did, but then all of a sudden, the man broke free, and uh, we were almost taken down. Now a good catch by Crabtree right there. Way to hold on to the ball. Right when he uh, caught the ball, he got tackled. Very good hands. Second and goal. Nowhere to go. Throw the ball. Let's go, Crabtree. Crabtree in the back of the end zone. Doing what he does best, and that is catching. More touchdowns for us, and we are still up. Now, the Seals are trying to come back, but doing plays like this. Moore is getting open down the field, and he's having himself a good day, but he's hurt. He's hurt. This is not good. There goes Collins in the middle, and that is a first down rush. We need to control the tempo of this game. We have not been rushing that much with our running back. A lot with Lamar, and there goes his third. 
rushing touchdown of the day. And this is going to seal the deal. And uh, the game is over. Now, we did end up beating the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is very good because, one, they're a good team. Two, that's a big confidence boost. And three, the most important part, they're in our division. They're in our conference. So we need to win all those games so that we can at least get first seed, which means we get a automatic playoff berth. We also want to get a buy in the first round. That means we have to dominate in every single game we play. So the final score was 35 to 38. It was a very high scoring, high flying game. And let's take out some stats right here. Lamar Jackson, 114.1 QBR rating, 19 for 25. 322 yards um, passing, 76% is completion, and he also had one touchdown, one interception. Now we need to lower the INT rating. I believe I already threw like four interceptions this season or five. I mean, it's it's way too many. Um, and we also need to pass the ball a little bit more. Now, 322 yards, I think, is a season high. Next game, I really want to focus on passing, so you guys will see that. Now, James Conner. 59 yards. Lamar Jackson, 131 yards, one fumble, and three rushing touchdowns on the day. So the man played really well. Um, a lot of rushing yards, a lot of passing yards. But we're going to try to limit the rushing yards and get more passing yards in the next game. Antonio Brown, 118 yards. Moore, 112 yards. There is Green, 81 yards. Perriman, 68 yards. Watson, 47 yards. The ex Baltimore Raven had two touchdowns on us. But it's okay, we still got the dub. Game number two of this episode, we are taking on the high-powered offense of the Oakland Raiders. Amari Cooper, Jordy Nelson, Derek Carr, they have weapons. Across the middle again, Ladarius Green is gone. Across the middle again, Ladarius Green is gone. He is a mismatch nightmare. A guy that big to be that quick? That is impossible. And that is exactly why we need him. That is exactly why he is a key piece to our team. I'm very happy to see him dominate for us this season. Second and 18, we did lose eight yards on our first down. But here is a deep bomb, and let's go. Rashad Perryman is an issue. Rashad Perryman is a problem. And once again, a very good pass. And oh, Crabtree. Oh my good, we are averaging a fumble a game. We are averaging a fumble a game. Um, it's not just Lamar Jackson who needs to work on his carrying. Everybody needs to work on their carrying. Uh, Darius Green's not fumbling though. He's having himself a very good day. And you guys are seeing eight for eight, 185 yards and a touchdown so far. Very good job, there goes Lamar. Spin move, ooh, broken tackle, broken tackle, go. And pick up the first down. I don't think he did. Oh, he did. First and goal. 500 rushing yards this season for Lamar Jackson. Throws the ball. And just like that, Perryman oh, gets taken out on the one-yard line. Nine for 10. 197 yards and a touchdown. So we take our field goal on that last possession. Puts us up 10 to 0. And I'm going to scramble right here with Lamar. Lamar is gone. Down to, ooh, a big time hit. Way to hold on to the ball. He only has 18 rushing yards so far. So you guys are seeing we are limiting. Um, ooh, good pass. The rushing. But we are not limiting the passing. A very, very good job right there. Another touchdown pass. This one on Michael Crabtree. And uh, way to run your route. Way to be open. And way to score. First and 10 again, our favorite play, the play action read. Always find somebody open. Now, our play action is really good. Lamar Jackson is very good at selling the run because he can run, the running back can run, and because of that, you have to respect both those players. And because of that, play action is always open. Now, I'm going to work on my play action um, even more when I uh, update my attributes after this. And when that happens, man, play action is going to be deadly. You guys have seen right there, I could not get past any of the defenders. The defenders were on lockdown. And they made sure I could not score. But this time, we want this passing touchdown. Lamar is really trying to make a statement, and he does. Gilmore in the middle of the field catches a touchdown. I believe that's his third 
passing touchdown of the game. So far, so good. And you guys are seeing the confidence right now in Lamar Jackson. He is calling all the holes all around the field. He sees a mismatch. And uh, just like that, he finds Brashaw Perryman, who is gone. The speed is too much. Nobody can stop the man. But you guys are seeing a flag on, uh, on the field. And it's probably going to be a holding. Hopefully, it's a holding on defense. But you never really see a holding on defense. So, ref says holding on offense. And it is coming back. All right. Well, second and 20 then. Bomb down the field. And look who it is. Mr. Big Time Plays. Michael Crabtree today is doing his thing. And he is making him, um, himself uh, uh, a very good case of being receiver of the year. I mean, look at Ladarius Green. Does he want to be tight end of the year? Everybody is playing well. And Lamar Jackson, 414 yards, three touchdowns on the day, no interceptions. This for sure is his best passing game of the season. There goes Moore, and he is stopped right before the end zone. Lamar wanted that touchdown, man. He wants four. He wants four. He's going to try, and he cannot pass it, so he will run it into the end zone right there. And his uh, rushing touchdown streak is continuing. Uh, I believe it's like five straight games now. But a very good job by Lamar. And uh, this game is over. Thirty-one to seventeen. You guys have been seeing also, by the way, um, all different types of plays by Lamar Jackson. You guys have seen short passes, deep passes, passes to the tight end across the middle, um, curl routes. I mean, he has been picking the defense apart today. Nine rushes, sixty-two yards, and one touchdown. This is literally going to be the last play on offense of the day. Can we get a touchdown here? And we do. Moore is there in the end zone. And just like that, Lamar Jackson does complete his four passing touchdowns in this game. And um, this is definitely his best game of the season. You guys are seeing he got tackled right here, but it's all good. He got sacked behind the play, but it's all good because the game is over. No interceptions today by Lamar. Over 400 yards and four touchdown passes. And this is a very, very good game. Now, hopefully, we can use this momentum to go out through on the season and uh you know make it to the playoffs win the super bowl now i'm going to try to get over 1,000 rushing yards on the season with lamar but i also want to get over 4,000 passing so over 4,000 passing 1,000 rushing can i do it comment down below guys and let me know can i do it do you guys think it's possible or not blow up the comment section right now now lamar jackson 24 of 29 on the day 465 passing yards and four touchdowns 158.3 qbr rating uh is that perfect can you guys also let me know if that's perfect or not you guys see marshawn lynch had 109 rushing yards one touchdown 24 attempts lamar had 11 rushing yards or 11 rushing attempts 65 yards and one td alex collins had himself a bad day five rushes for five yards michael crabtree oh my gosh and ladarius green Crabtree almost had 200 receiving yards. Adarius Green had 167 and a touchdown. Perryman had three catches, 49 yards. And Moore had four catches for 49 yards. Now, before we end the video, like I said, I was going to increase some of my stats. Speed is okay. Acceleration is okay for now. Agility, awareness, throw power needs to increase. I'm going to bring it up to about 91. And then play action will also go up. Now, carry it and put it up to 90. You see that right there. It went up plus 9. And then play action is at 78. I want to go up just a little bit as well. Uh, Yeah, 80, 80. What about 85? 82? Okay. I'm trying to save some of these uh, XP points for some other stuff. I also want to raise my development trait. I think it's at quick. I want it to be at the highest. It's at normal. Okay, so I want to go to quick. And that's 20,000 by itself. But because I raised my development stat, um, I'll be able to get more XP faster in games and also in practice, which means more XP, more things I can upgrade 
uh, the better Lamar Jackson will be going forward. But you guys are seeing right now, I'm going to leave it at that. And Lamar Jackson's overall went up a lot. Now, look at the standings. We are 4-1. and one. Browns are 3-2. and two. Steelers are 1-4. and four. Bengals are 1-4. and four. So, it looks like we can lock up this conference, this division, if we keep winning some games. Steelers and Bengals usually are playing really well, but playing really bad this year. So, that's fine with me. Now, next game will be versus the Bears, Vikings, Dolphins. So, two games in the next episode or one. Let me know down below in the comment section how many games you guys want to see. But until then, hope you guys did enjoy and stay tuned for way more coming out soon. I will see you guys in the next episode. But for now, enjoy your time. Hope you guys like this one. Stay tuned for when we're coming out soon. And I am out.